Hey, what's up everyone? You're here with Vora from Pick Dogs, and you're here for your free picks for Tuesday, April 25th. Uh, as we started doing this uh, the, uh, videos this, this past weekend, guys, uh, we have all the picks for the day contained in one single video, and it will be the same for Tuesday. We have uh, three games in the EPL, and we have three games in La Liga. And we will do a free pick for each of those games. And of course, we do have a free parlay video up on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, of course. So check it out, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. We do appreciate it a lot. And of course, for my best bets, click the link in the description of this video and uh, see if you like anything and if you want to sign up. Uh, like I said, guys, three games in EPL and three games in La Liga. And we are going to kick it off with this matchup between Wolverhampton and Crystal Palace. Uh, with both teams playing pretty solid football right now, uh, especially in that attacking end, I'm going to go with a pick that I wouldn't usually take in a matchup like this because it seems so defensive. And uh, the over 2.5 hasn't hit in 9 of the last 10 games between, the, between these two sides. However, that doesn't mean that we won't get shots. Uh, like I said, both sides are performing really well in the attacking end as of right now. And uh, even though Wolverhampton is coming off of a loss against Leicester City uh, this past weekend, uh, they still had a decent amount of chances. They were still able to score a goal. And I think that uh, they definitely deserve to be the favorites at home that they are right now. But I think that Crystal Palace is a very solid team right now. Uh, they are very good in that attacking and creating a decent amount of chances. And I think that they will create a decent amount of chances here as well. So uh, I'm going to go with over 7.5 shots on target between both teams combined. It's minus 109. I think it's an excellent price and uh, the line is not too high because 8 shots on target uh, isn't that high amount of shots as you might think it is. Uh, but definitely, like I said, both teams playing really well right now, and I think it's going to be a fairly open matchup. So, uh, Wolverhampton against Crystal Palace, over 7.5 shots on target. In the second matchup in the EPL, guys, uh, 2.45 p.m. Eastern, we have Aston Villa playing against uh, Fulham. And uh, this should be a very interesting matchup because uh, Aston Villa has been undefeated for a while. They haven't lost any of their last... Uh, but seven, eight, nine games in a row. And even in that game against Brentford, they were very solid. They got a draw. It was 1-1. Uh, they scored that late goal and uh, it was a well-deserved draw. But then again, Fulham on the other side is playing really well right now. They have beaten Everton 3-1. They have beaten Leeds United 2-1 at home. And even though they're, they are scoring a, a high amount of goals right now, they are still conceding goals. So this is definitely one of those games where... Uh, both teams to score and over two and a half seems like a very good hit and uh, Indeed it does here as well. And then again, we we are getting it at plus 125 when I saw this price guys. I just couldn't uh, Couldn't not not but to take this pick because I think it's gonna be a, a Quite the exciting game. It's gonna be a competitive football uh, with chances on both sides and uh, I don't think that either side can keep a clean sheet right now. So uh, Aston Villa against Fulham, I'm going with both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. And the last game of the day in the EPL, guys, is going to be between Leeds and Leicester. And uh, pretty much everything I said about that Aston Villa and Fulham game, I think we can apply here. Uh, Leeds United and Leicester are two teams still fighting for their lives in the EPL. And uh, this is a type of a game that they have to win if they want to stay in the league. I'm pretty sure that both uh, would be happy with the draw as well. Uh, but then again, we have two sides that have quite a bit of offense and uh, two of the worst defensive teams in the league. Uh, Leeds has conceded 62 goals, Leicester has conceded 56, uh, but uh, Leicester has actually won their last game uh, against Wolverhampton. It was 2-1. Uh, they were losing 1-0, but then they scored nice two goals and uh, turned the game around. While Leeds is on a three-game losing streak. Like I said, this is a type of a game that both teams have to win. And uh, if I had to give the advantage to someone, of course, it would be Leicester right now. Uh, since they're coming off of a win and the mood in the team is changing slowly. Uh, but I still think that they can keep a clean sheet here. So, 
Uh, this is going to be another game where I'm going to go with both teams to score at over 2.5. It's minus 104, another great price, guys, and I think it's going to be another nice winner for us in the EPL. After these three EPL games, guys, we are moving to La Liga, and the first game we have is going to be between Cadiz and Osasuna. Now, when we take a look at the Cadiz season right now, uh, they are above the relegation zone, uh, they have two points over Valencia who are in that 18th place and the season is far from over for them but they barely have any offense. Cadiz has scored only 23 goals this season, defensively not bad, 42 conceded goals. It could be better but they are the type of a team that never had a good defense and th this season is not the exception. But then again, when you have uh, such low offense and you are playing against a very, very solid defensive team in Osasuna, the team that conceded only 32 goals and the team that's coming off of a nice win in La Liga at home, uh, I don't think you're going to have a good game here. And uh, even if Cadiz had more offense, they would have a very, very hard time breaking this Osasuna's defense down. Uh, which is why I'm not going to go with the goals, I'm not going to go with Cadiz, I'm not going to go with the totals or anything like that. I'm just going to take Osasuna to score a goal. It's minus 182, it's fairly expensive, I know, yes. But Osasuna has been scoring goals quite consistently. They have scored at least a goal in their last four games in a row. While Cadiz, just, I don't know, a below average team and uh, I don't think they can keep a clean sheet here. So Cadiz versus Osasuna, I'm taking Osasuna to score a goal. In the next matchup guys, we have Girona hosting Real Madrid and I'm keeping this one fairly simple. I'm not gonna even try to take uh, Real Madrid to win at over one and a half or two and a half or something like that. I'm simply gonna take Real Madrid on the money line. The price is now minus 159, which is outstanding price if you ask me for a team that's on a four game winning streak, uh, the team that's fighting to stay in that second place, even though the title might be uh, too far away from them, they're fighting with Atletico Madrid to keep that second place. And like I said, they are on a four game winning streak and uh, they are on a three game winning streak away from home. So Real Madrid is playing well right now. They do have a couple of injuries, yes, but uh, every player on the bench is probably twice as better than any player Girona has. I know that Girona has a lot, a lot of fight in them, but uh, they are far away from the relegation zone. Uh, they won't reach any of the European competitions, and uh, for that reason, guys, like I said, I'm simply taking Real Madrid on the money line. <laughs> And the last game of the day in La Liga is going to be between Betis and Real Sociedad. Now this has a potential to be a very interesting matchup because with the win here, uh, Betis will get within 3 points of Real Sociedad in the standings, which means that they will get within 3 points uh, from the Champions League spot for next season. Uh, but then again, Real Sociedad has been pretty solid uh, overall this season, one of the best defensive teams with only 29 conceded goals. And originally I was going to take the under in this game, but uh, seeing how uh, if Betis wants to qualify for the Champions League, they simply have to go for the win here against Real Sociedad, who are their direct opponents and competition for that last Champions League spot. Uh, they were quite successful in the past against Real Sociedad at home, but uh, they have been very inconsistent as of late, and they have been struggling quite a lot on both ends, and uh, they will be without Nabil Fekir for this game, who is injured. I think that with uh, so much at stake for both sides, I think this game could get a little rough and I think we could see a lot of fouls here. I, potentially we could see a penalty and a red card, uh, which is why I decided to go with over 5.5 cards. It's minus 129 and for a matchup like this, I don't think that uh, 5.5 uh, cards line is too high and the price we are getting on is pretty good. So. Uh, I'm going to go with Betis against Sociedad over 5.5 cards at minus 129. That's it everyone. Uh, these were the bets we have going on on Tuesday, April 25th. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Pick Dogs YouTube channel guys. Check out the rest of the free picks from other sports of course. And of course uh, check out that free parlor of the day video as well. That's it. Have a great day. Enjoy your Tuesday and I'll see you soon with more free picks.